Today, all Western Balkan countries face various challenges on their path towards sustainable economic growth. A few are, however, key – transportation bottlenecks, difficulties in crossing borders and power failures. These negatively impact employment and trade, decrease the competitiveness of local economies. Current challenges may, however, be turned into opportunities for growth if approached with long-term plans for structural reforms and adequate investments. The European Union is working continuously to improve connectivity among the countries of the Western Balkans and with their EU neighbours. The European Union has an ambitious policy to build up the continent's infrastructure and connect it east and west, north and south. A challenging part of this is to extend the trans-European transport network to the Western Balkan region and to create a regional electricity market interconnected to the one in the EU. The European Union has developed a connectivity agenda to continue improving transport and energy links in the Western Balkan region to foster growth and prosperity in the region. We are working closely with the six Western Balkan countries on concrete measures that benefit citizens throughout the region. We have agreed on the core transport networks and identified priority energy projects. This initiative builds on the substantive assistance, more than 3 billion euro, that the European Union has leveraged to reconstruct the transport and energy sectors after the conflicts in the region. All countries of the Western Balkans face the need for considerable improvements to their infrastructure. The Western Balkan Investment Framework, which brings together the European Commission, Western Balkan countries, financing institutions and several donors, plans and coordinates infrastructure investment across sectors. Through this framework, EU grants are blended with loans from international financial institutions and contributions from the beneficiary countries. This approach ensures that grant resources have a multiplying effect, leveraging at least three times their value. Thanks to EU grants of more than 660 million euro, the European Union has leveraged support to infrastructure development in the Western Balkans worth over 3 billion euro until 2014. These investments in roads, railways, electricity lines have already been built. In 2015, we set aside a further 1 billion euro in grants from the European Union's pre-accession instrument to continue reinforcing the economic development of the Western Balkans. We are targeting key transport and energy connections among the region and between the region and the European Union. Our money will leverage an additional 4 billion euro in investments and create more than 45,000 jobs for the citizens of the region. Early in 2017, I pulled the first concrete for the Svial Bridge linking Bosnia and Herzegovina to Croatia in the European Union. The new investment will cut up to one hour of travel time for people and businesses, from Sarajevo to Zagreb, to Belgrade and to Budapest, and bring twice the return on investment to the local economy. In June, I visited the Lastava substation in Montenegro, built with EU support on the Trans-Balkan Electricity Corridor which goes into Serbia and Bosnia and Herzegovina and then further to the European Union via a submarine cable to Italy. The investment will ensure continuous energy supply to the region as well as reduce transmission losses. It thus contributes to lower electricity prices for residents, industry and investors. We'll continue funding investment projects that respond to the most pressing infrastructure development needs in the region. The Western Balkan countries also need to implement institutional reforms in order to open markets, create transport regulatory network and remove barriers so that investments reach their full potential. The reforms are now underway with significant progress having been made over the past year. 
by building and connecting transport and energy infrastructure, the EU will help create links and opportunities for business and people all over the Western Balkans. It will improve the movement of goods and services within the Western Balkans and with the European Union. This will not only increase the region's competitiveness, potential for job creation and energy security, but it will benefit the whole of Europe and citizens from the Western Balkans and the EU.